Got a brewery, a workshop. And this place is the brewery estate. Let's check out this workshop. Is this just like one of the like production facilities where you... Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, the backpack's going... Going hard at the brewery. Okay. Oh, wait, he's right here. Wait. No shot. Stop running. Your time has come. You've stolen all the beer. And now it's time to pay your tab. Alright, so there's no shots. There's just nothing in this building, right? Oh! Wait. Here it is. Okay. So. East of the Evergreen Vineyard in the Brewery Estate right here. You're going to find yourself a canning recipe on the bench. We got a whimsical drink. Woo! And boom, whimsical drink. It's a legendary beverage of the sorts. Gives you a hydration of plus 100, a sanity boost of plus 1,000, and an effect of clear-headed. Dishes, dishes provide a sanity-restoring bonus. Sigh intensity plus 30% for 30 minutes. And depending on which... Well, the clear head is from the thing, but depending on which thing you use, you can change up your effect. So yeah, pretty insane beverage, if you ask me. Do you look at these guys just chilling? It's so, so, so like serene, dude. He's got like little raccooners, dude. Little deer guys. They're all just chilling in the road. Sheesh, look at this beautiful scenery, you know? My goodness. Hey, little guy. How you doing? Oh. And what do you know? The backpack has activated once again. Aha. There he is. I gotcha. You were sneaky, hiding in the vines. So, that morphic crate for the evergreen vineyard is literally right here in the little V section of the road. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Poison, coming at you with another Once Human Settlement Guide. Today, we're going to be going through the Evergreen Vineyard to get all the crates and collectibles. So, starting off here in the center, you're going to want to go to this building right here. There'll be a few enemies just patrolling the outside. Just kill them. And when you get into the building here, you're going to find yourself the first weapon crate. So, on to the next. All right, so for the next weapon crate in the Evergreen Vineyard, you're going to want to go here behind this big building right here. And there'll be a lot of enemies down here that you'll have to clear out. But once you do, in this building right here, there's a storage crate. There you go, get yourself that. Over here to the right, there's the weapon crate. And if you keep following here, there'll be a little bar. And on the bar, there is the other storage crate. And some handbags on the table to loot as well. All right, so for the next weapon crate, you're going to want to go here. And there'll be this yellowish looking house. So once you clear out the enemies in the house, the weapon crate is just in this room right here to the right. Oh, all right. Look at this snazzy house, dude. Sick. All right, there's got to be some sick stuff in here. Oh, I see it. It is. Oh, shit. Hey, man, I'm just trying to steal your mystical crate, dog. You got some cool little treasures that I want to partake in. Alright, if you guys are gonna hide, I'll just Rambo you down, I don't care. At this point in the game, I'm like, made out of half steel. Oh! Okay, gear crate. Boom. Very nice, very nice. Oh. Recipe. Boom. For the signature ice. Alright. And... How do I... How, how, how do I get up here? I cheese it? Alright, there's gotta be stairs somewhere here. In 
the back. Yep, in the back. You just run through here in the back. And mystical crate. Holy crap, a gear crate, a mystical crate, and a recipe all at the same spot, man. So that is right here in the evergreen vineyards, right in the big white building. Wait, that, that wait, this has to be probably the be one of the best loot spots in the game. How often do you find a recipe, a, a crate, or and two crates in the same spot? Like no shoddy on a on a stack of Rooney, bro. All right, so checking out the signature ice brew here. We're gonna go on our kitchen set to our drinks, and it's a legendary beverage. Gives you a hydration of plus 100, a sanity boost of plus 1,000. Gives you the buff freshen up for 30 minutes, which is pollution resistance for 30%. And sanity recovers quickly when not in combat. And it gives you an ice shake, which is a frosty beverage made with ice cubes. Good for your sanity recovery. But be careful, consuming too much may cause headaches. Don't want to get yourself a little bit of a ice freeze. Or brain freeze, rather. Like, it's guarded and everything. There's got to be some shit in here, right? There's even corn growing here. And you, you, you never... You never doubt the corn. Where the corn grows... Oh, shit, I literally see it right there. Look, these gear crates. Where the corn grows... I goes. Okay, come on, game. Well, you can't just go over that wall, it seems. So we're, we're going to have to go the hard way. So you go around here... And this is why the game wanted you to go around here, so you have to deal with this bullshit. Alright, and in this building right here... Oh, it's one of these ones where it's, it's locked behind some exploration. Hey, man. Stop. This guy just fucking shot an RPG at me. What? What, bro? I'm already on the elevator. It's over for you. Your treasures are mine. Cease and desist. All right, so crawl down here, or rather fly down here, and a gear crate, baby. Let's go. And the rift anchor is just here in this parking lot. It's on the map for you, anyways, but for good measure in the video to make sure it's a complete uh, collectibles guide. Oh, it's another one of these pylon things, dude. Oh, snap. It's time to investigate. Rest. Or RST. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm getting RST'd right now, dude. Oh, wait. It just... It did it, but it didn't do it. Can you do it again? Okay, this one's a bit finicky. All right, there we go. Sheesh. Okay, RST, looting me. What you got, buddy? The amended SR mag. All right, let's check that out. All right, so the amended sniper rifle mag is a sniper rifle magazine attachment, and it gives you a reload speed boost of plus seven and an accuracy bonus of plus seven as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was all the crates and collectibles for the Evergreen Vineyards. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, consider giving it a like. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more settlement guides like this, I'll link my playlist I have in the video description. Or subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.